Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the starting lineup. Today, I want to discuss how I think the new starting lineups will be packaged. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, we're getting closer every day to the release of the new starting lineups. Now, one thing that has been on my mind is how these are going to be packaged. Now, what I wanna do is I kinda wanna take a look at what they've done in the past, and then also some of their newer product lines, how they've been packaging those products. So I think that'll really give us some good insight on what we can expect. So throughout the life of the first generation starting lineup, that's kinda what I'm calling it, uh, the packaging stayed pretty much the same. I mean, you had, the uh, cardboard backing, and then you had the plastic bubble that protected the figurine as well as the card. Now for most kids, including myself, the packaging didn't really matter. I couldn't wait until I got home. I'd rip it open, I'd look at the card, I'd take the figure, I'd put it on my dresser with all my other ones and strategically place it, sometimes putting my favorite players towards the front or the newer ones towards the front. Um, But then as you get a little older, you quickly realize that that just killed the value. So when I started actually getting into collecting and I would go to the store or order some uh, even online, you know, you, you start looking at is uh, is the corners dented or is the bubble dented? Is the bubble, does it, has it developed that y- the dreaded yellow tint, right? Um, are there price uh, tags on it or stickers on it? Is there the residue from the sticker where someone removed it? There's so many things to take into consideration. So one of the things I want to do with this episode is I want to talk about like, how are they going to package these for us collectors? Is it going to be the same old school way or are they going to come up with some new packaging ideas? So now I'd like to take a look at some of the other Hasbro products that they currently have out there and just see how they went and packaged those. Um, I think that'll give us a good idea of sort of what we can expect. So let's uh, check some of these out. Okay, so here we're looking at a Luke Skywalker and and Yoda figurine boxed up. Uh, I do kind of like this packaging. I I feel like it, you know, you're not going to get sort of the the creases and the bends and the folds that we would uh, get with the the, the first generation of the starting lineups. So it is a little more secure. Um, You know, I I don't know if I like it as much. I would want to be able to see the the full figurine here. We have basically Luke cut off from from the knees down. But, uh, But even graphically, You know, we got some nice imagery and we got the, of course, Star Wars logos and everything. Um, So that is kind of cool. And they could do some some really unique and interesting things with with the boxes. Now, here we're looking at one that's a little more of like a throwback design. This is a newer figurine, but you can see it does kind of have some of the Star Wars or the uh, starting lineup characteristics that we're used to. You know, it's just the cardboard backing. We got the cutout so you can, uh, you know, hang it in the store. But since they really won't be in retail stores, we probably won't need a cutout to, to hang. It'll be interesting to see if, if, if that's something they put in the packaging or not. Uh, and then, you know, we have the plastic bubble protecting the, the character. My main issue with these is these corners here and the sides they're just too easy to get dinged up and also you know you get these these weird creases and stuff so even the slight bend is going to get a crease um you know up and down even if it doesn't tear or 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 fully bend you kind of do get those weird weird creases that um can can happen to the packaging now here's here's now here's a Ghostbuster one that is, you know, I, I, the character I don't think is going to look like this as I kind of showed in my previous video. This one's a little too cartoony. Um, the boxing and, and packaging itself actually kind of has a little more of a, a cartoon type feel to it. Um, again, I don't like that the characters kind of kind of half cut off. That's not something that I really like. I'm going to want to see like the, the the full character in their pose. Um, but you know, again, we do have the plastic bubble, and you know, we they're they're continuing to do these these sort of the the cardboard backing um, with the hook to to hang in the retail store so they could go this route I really hope that they don't um, especially since it doesn't sound like these are going to be hitting the retail stores at least right away so maybe some sort of a, a box is really really the way to go here now here's kind of the updated one and you do see it does come with the hook but I like this packaging a lot more because you can see the whole character. You can see all the items that come along with the character. Now, the configuration of the box would probably look a little different for a starting lineup since these are going to be coming with trading cards. Uh, you know, Panini is a, I guess, a co-brander. Is that probably what you what they what they're calling themselves? Um, so the, the the actual form of it would would look a little different.
different, but I do like sort of the box look and I think it would be you know really cool. They just make it wider. You put the card next to it. Uh, so I, I think I would be happy with sort of a sort of a look like this. Now, the last one I'll show is uh, Sergeant Slaughter from G.I. Joe. This is the uh, classified series. I don't think they're going to go this route. Um, one, because you can't see the card and you can't see the figure. I got to be honest with you. I don't know why this even looks like this, because most people want to see the figure. I know I don't know if this has sort of like a um, kind of like an open face or some sort of a gatefold where where you can open up and see the figure on the inside. But that's one of the coolest, most attractive things that is going to make me want to, you know, get one of these players is, um, you know, being able to see it. And also, if you're a person who's not going to open this up and and play it and you want to put it in a case and put it on, a, you know, on your wall or with your collection, you, you still want to see the figurine. So I don't think they'll go this route. In fact, I would probably be just turned off from buying one of these altogether if it just came with a, a kind of the complete closed box like this. Just it's not for me. So hopefully you guys found this episode helpful and if not helpful, at least hopefully it was entertaining. But I just wanted to give a little insight in sort of like what I thought, you know, the packaging and everything could be like. I'm really hoping that they they do a good job with this because I know people who are collectors, you know, and want to get these things graded. Those are things that that are going to be very important to us. So uh, we're going to have more episodes on the way as soon as more news gets announced. I'm probably going to do some other fun episodes just talking about what players are going to be released, uh, when we hopefully could expect some of the uh, NFL, maybe the NHL and Major League Baseball uh, starting lineups to, to hit the market. So please give me a like and subscribe. Stay tuned and I'll be back soon. Peace.